Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into some important news for all Linux users. The Linux kernel 6.9 has reached the end of its life and it's time for everyone to upgrade to Linux kernel 6.10. Don't worry if you're not a tech wizard, we're going to break it down so that anyone can understand why this is important and how to go about it. First off, let's talk about what the Linux kernel is. Imagine your computer is like a big orchestra, with lots of different instruments, the hardware, and musicians, the software. The Linux kernel is like the conductor of this orchestra. It helps all the parts of your computer communicate and work together harmoniously. Without the kernel, your computer wouldn't know how to make all its parts work together. The Linux kernel is the heart of any Linux operating system. It manages your computer hardware and allows software to run on your computer. When the kernel gets an update, it can mean better performance, new features and improved security. Just like updating an app on your phone, keeping your kernel up to date is crucial for the best experience. Now, here is the news. Linux kernel 6.9 has reached its end of life. What does this mean? Well, just like how a company stops supporting an old version of software, the developers of the Linux kernel will no longer provide updates, fixes or support for version 6.9. It's like if your favorite app stopped getting updates, eventually it will become outdated and less secure. Linux kernel 6.9 was released on May 12, 2024. It brought some exciting new features, like Rust support on ARM64. This means that Rust programming language can be used on ARM64, which is great for developers working with these types of systems. Intel Freed Mechanism This stands for flexible return and event delivery, a new way for the processors to handle low-level events more efficiently. AMD SNP Support Secure nested patching is a security feature for AMD processors, making virtual machines more secure. These features made kernel 6.9 a solid choice for many users. However, since it was not an LTS version, it only received support for a few months. Long-term support versions of the Linux kernel are supported for several years. They receive regular updates, bug fixes and security patches. If you rely on your computer for important tasks and its stability, using an LTS version is a good idea because it ensures you have a reliable and secure system over a long period of time. As of now, Linux kernel 6.9 is no longer supported. This means no more updates or fixes will be released for it. If you're using Linux kernel 6.9, it's crucial to upgrade to Linux kernel 6.10 to ensure your system stays secure and up to date. Linux kernel 6.10 was released on July 14, 2024, and it comes with several new features. MSEAL System Call This is a new system call for memory sealing. It helps protect the memory mapping itself from being modified, which is great for preventing memory corruption issues. Shadow Stack Support for X32 This provides additional security for the X32 sub-architecture by ensuring that function call returns go to the correct location. TPM Bus Encryption and Integrity Protection This enhances the security of communication between the trusted platform module, TPM in short, and the system making it more secure against attacks. Many popular Linux distributions have already started using Linux kernel 6.10. Rolling release distributions like Arch Linux and OpenSUSE are usually the first to adopt the latest kernel version. If you're using one of these, you may already be on Linux 6.10. Other distributions like Fedora, Ubuntu and Linux Lite are also planning to upgrade to Linux kernel 6.10 soon. Keep an eye on your system updates, it's likely you'll see the new kernel version available in the coming weeks. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.